Welcome back to another video from Side Hustle Garage. In today's video, we're gonna to try to get the rest of the Ford Focus done with the paint prep. And we're also about to get jump right into this hood here. We're gonna clean it up and get it painted. Let's jump into it. Got that Omni Plus because I realized that buying PPG is more expensive. It'll leave you a better finish, but it's such a cheap vehicle. And I've done it already, did it on two Fords at a Ford Escape. And now I got this Ford Focus, and they, they just work. So I'm just gonna stick with Omni for these cheaper end vehicles. Alright guys, while we're waiting this first layer to dry here, um, to prep the whole entire garage, I cleaned it up, I vacuumed the floors and whatnot, I also put some bags where the chains and whatnot are, um, I also put a wrap over this project here, which is another thing, and um, made sure to filter it all, put a filter through the window, and got some fans running. That way I have always ventilation, and I'm supposed to be wearing a mask, but I'm just doing a small little amount here for just the hood, so I think it'll be fine. The paint's dried, the first coat. Had a little bit of fish eye because it didn't clean it properly, but now we should be ready to go, so let's put on a second layer. Mm -hmm. So we got our third layer on. It's looking really thin because black black stuff is kind of really really watery even out of the um, the jug that I got, the cork that I got. But you still gotta mix it and get it that way. Black paint is usually a little bit thin. But it laid on pretty flat, pretty good. I got a few other little small things that I'm gonna get in the fourth layer. Um, so let's get that. Okay guys, just got this hood painted. It looks really good. Covered up all the spots that I need to cover up. Over here, I didn't cover up as much because there's still a piece that goes right on top of it. So that's fine. Uh, we have to wait a couple of hours before we put the clear coat on. 
Um, it's like seven or so. So I'm gonna probably move this stuff to the side because my vehicle's outside. I don't know this neighborhood. Somebody might steal my wheels. So let's clean this up and move the car in. <laughs> vehicle in we're waiting for this coat to dry so clear coats are gonna be a little bit later so catch you guys then Crystal clear finish, tack off the dust before you paint. For the crystal, I'm only going to do one layer, and basically, my main layer is going to be just these outside here. And I'm gonna do just very slightly on the inside because again, it gets, good, it gets covered. So, pick up the pressure. Just got the clear coat on. It looks good. Good finish. The first time we had it, as you see in the video, it was kind of crystallizing because I wasn't using a lot of pressure. Second time, went in with a bunch of pressure and it laid down real nice. Um, we opened up the garage door a little bit so we got a little bit of dust on there but it's not going to really affect it that much because it's going underneath the hood anyways. That's Nobody's going to see it to the eye. So at this point, um, my car is outside. I got to pull it in so I'm going to put everything back um, sort of in a corner and then pull in the car. Let's do that. Okay, got the vehicle in, hood is painted and to the side, uh, but it's getting a little late, so we're going to call it a day. Alright, it's the next day. I was thinking about the painting procedure, and it would be much simpler for us to take off the panels completely, the ones that we're going to paint, and paint them individually. So we're going to take them off and scuff them. So let's get to work. Alright guys, got all the parts back there, everything's disassembled, um, now we just gotta pull this thing out of the garage. vehicle is now out of the garage. At this point we're just going to put these bumpers, I kind of laid this leather thing on the, on the bottom of it. We're going to take up all these plastics here because I obviously don't want to paint that. So let's get to work on that.
off all the parts that need to be painted, um, we're going to go ahead and scuff the bumpers and the spoiler here with some soap and water. And then for the hood and both fenders, we're going to go ahead and use some scuff pad and then scuff those things down. All right, welcome back. It's another day. I just bought some Dawn Ultra Dish Soap at Myers. Um, we're about to do the bumpers and the rest of the panel. We're going to clean them up and scuff them up with this. Let's get to that. We just did two bumpers uh, with a little bit of scuff. Now we're going to move on to the fenders. I grabbed the D8, put a 320 on it. And where I'm going to be blending it with the paint, that's where I'm going to use a 320. So let's get to that. All right, we got the fender sanded um, with 320 where we're going to paint and then the rest of it with the uh, scuff pad. Uh, I made this little stand for the fenders, um, but I'm going to try to clean them off because I'm trying to get it all ready for paint. I was debating whether or not I should put paper on it and then or cover it up with paper and then put the fender on. But I think all I'm gonna do is just blow it off. And it should be good. Alright, this is what the fender slips on. This guy goes in here. That's that. That's the uh, fender stand. That one's ready. Let's go with the other one. All right, we just finished all the sanding and all the scuffing. At this point, I just have the hood left to do, which I'm gonna do inside. So I'm probably gonna remove the Ford out of here. Also, the second project that we have, Chevy Malibu out of here, and then clean up the garage and get ready for paint. Guys, we just got the Malibu outside. We're about to clean the garage and put the panels where they need to go to be painted. But you're gonna see that in the next part. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, and drop a comment down below if you like this build. Make sure to check us out on Instagram. It's at side.hustle.garage where you can get the inside scoop and behind the scenes on our build. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.